Hovi Star is Israel's next star, and he's singing We Are Made of Stars at Eurovision 2016. You guys, there were a lot of stars in those words just now. My question is this, do we have a star for Eurovision 2016, Denise? No, not at all. This wasn't even a star, It's not, there wasn't one. No, it is, uh, well, I don't want to say that it's really bad. I mean, it's listenable, but after last year and the two years before, they had such amazing songs and I, they did great and now there's this and so compared with that it is really bad and it's somewhere really below in my top and no no I'm, i don't like this <laughs> it's hard to believe that this song was written by the same person as yeah. golden boy and before the show started this was my fourth favorite and there were only four <laughs> songs so i wasn't a fan of it to begin with and even though it really drags and this song was performed twice there was the runner-up sang it too but um, no, no, what? Hovi. Hovi's version seems very clinical. There's no edge to it. And he's just singing it and he's made of stars and blah, 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 blah. He's not a star in my books. Yeah, this song I don't think lets him shine. It almost sounds like Phantom of the Opera mated with a bad John Bon Jovi cover act. It's like rock opera, if that makes sense. It's trying to be very dramatic. But ultimately, it's just a repetition of We Are Made of Stars. I mean, if, if I had five cents for every time he said that, I could buy several ice cream. I mean, it is really, really repetitive. Um, and I'm not sure if people voted for him or if they voted for the staging. I think Sparrow, one of our readers, puts it best. He says, quote, Hovey sold it the best, although the wind machine was half of his performance. I'm honestly shocked he beat the girls. Yeah, I thought Nofar, Nofar, her song was more organic. It sounded much more ethnic and Israeli, ultimately. It had like a, a tribal, Middle Eastern, Oriental vibe, and I loved it. Almost spiritual. Whereas this is like, I don't know, Bon Jam Bovi, John Blah, whatever his name is, B-side. It's just not good. Well, mm. see, it just shows you how that she was that bit more talented, because she was singing the same song. Yeah. And it was completely different, but she... She made it seem more unique, and in the end, it was very tight. I think he won by two. Two, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, well, she had an extra edge to her that I thought was special, but it wasn't Eurovision winner special, but it was better than this. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the biggest shame was that they uh, didn't pick Ella. Um, I think that she was the best out of the form, even though we didn't hear the song from the first girl. Um, but that song, it wasn't perfect, not at all. Um, but it was something they could work with. It really had potential, she's a great singer. And um, yeah, I don't know, her voice was really unique. And you also saw it with the judges, they were... Um, yeah, you can see the voting directly. And they were like, come on, come on, vote for her. And you really saw that, so I think that it was their favorite, it was my favorite, and if you look in the comments and in the polls, she was one of the favorites from this show, so I think that that's really a shame, but you never know. I mean, this guy, he has a great voice, and maybe they can make something out of it, and like you said, it is the writer of Golden Boy, so we know he can do great stuff, so maybe he can revamp this and make something really good out of it, but yeah, for now it's just a shame. Better yet, let's not revamp it. Let's just press delete and reboot. <laughs> Last year, they chose the song after choosing the singer. I think they need to do that again. Let's keep the singer, because he does have a good voice. He just needs better material to work with. This will not take them to the final. This will not take them to the top 10 of the semi-final. <laughs> this, this is bad, I'm sorry. And I just want to quickly flash to some of our reader comments. The Lord, hello, says, awful, just awful, zero points for this piece of crap. And Tom says, let me predict the future. Last place at the semi, we did so well last year, it just makes me so sad. 
I remember last year during the Wee Wee Jury videos, I was like, I'm a golden boy, come here to enjoy. I'm a golden boy, come here to enjoy. Da, 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 da. I'm not doing that right now. I'm not made of stars. I feel like I'm made of lead because my heart is heavy and my soul is sad. And Israel is one of those countries that if it has a really good song, it will do well. But if it has a song that isn't exceptional, it's going to struggle. Like even my fine gold. She, yeah. did, she came really low in her semi-final. And this is a worse song. Oh. This is worse than My Fine Gudge. It's worse than Morana's like, Door. Yeah. And they were perfectly acceptable songs, but they didn't qualify. So I cannot see this qualifying, even though it is in quite a weak semi-final comparative to the first one as we see the songs being revealed. But yeah, it's going to struggle. Yeah, who are they up against, Porg? I know Georgia is in their semi. <laughs> yeah, in the second half. The, of the semi-finals. So far we have Georgia, we have Belgium, we have Denmark, we have Slovenia, everybody's favorite songs. <laughs> they might as well just make them draw rocks and whoever gets, you know, the white rock can stay. Oh. Well, that's what we think. What do you think? Has Israel found a star? Is there a star in the Star of David this year? Let us know here on Weeby Blogs. And make sure to give us a like. And you are our star if you subscribe. <laughs> awesome. See you later. Bye. Bye.